Hi, I'm fourth grader Andrew Rose. Welcome back for the midweek update. Today we will follow along as some of our fellow ECOT students in the ECOT Science Club attempt to send a balloon and rocket into space as a part of a science experiment. Let's check it out. So the ECOT TV crew sent me an email wanting me to be a part of their science experiment. If they sent me an email and a link, a link in the email about this video of a kid who used his toy on a weather balloon to go up all the way to space. We were doing a project similar to that except with a rocket, not a train. And quite frankly when I saw the video I was like, wow, <laughs> this looks fun. So basically we're putting a weather balloon with cameras up into space. So we made this frame out of plumbing pipe and it has three cameras, two GPSs, and a really cool ECOT rocket that we made. So we have four cords that go to the carabiner and then from there we have two cords that go to the parachutes and balloons. When they had to drive us we had to go to Salina, Ohio and Grand Lake St. Mary's to shoot, to essentially shoot this balloon up into space. So we got up really early so we could fill the balloon with air and set up the framing. And it was really cold that day, so it was quite memorable. <laughs> With the altitude up there, it's, a, it's essentially lowering the pressure for the balloon, so the higher it gets, the more it expands until it explodes. So once it explodes, the parachute shoot, and it just slowly descends and flows back to the earth. So I finished filling up the balloons, tied them up, and attached them to the cords. We started recording the three cameras that were on the frames, and then we were ready to launch. Three, two, one. So I'm really nervous right now because we have GPSs attached to the balloons, and if they stop working, then we have no idea where the balloon landed. This thing, it had two GPSs on it, like one on the frame of the weather balloon and one inside this orange styrofoam capsule, but as soon as it shot one, the one in the capsule stopped working after a bit. <laughs> that was kind of a letdown, actually. So I was afraid we'd never see those cameras again. After we launched it, we packed up all of our stuff and then we started tracking the one GPS that was working. Okay, so we wanted, we wanted this thing to land in the east and in flatlands, but instead it started going south, like, and I mean way south. Oh, and another thing, GPSs don't work above 60,000 feet. I could not believe that the other GPS stopped sending signal. This could be really bad. Well, all we can do now is wait. Attention 8th grade students and all history geeks. On May 29th, join four of America's greatest abolitionists on a journey to the National Freedom Center. The writer. The freedom fighter. The rail splitter. The colonel. Come and learn about the abolitionists that helped bring an end to slavery. Come and learn about those enslaved and their fight to gain freedom. Learn about how slavery ended in the United States. Come and learn about the men and women who sacrificed their lives for freedom. Sign up today by going to the ECOT events page. That's all for this episode of ECOT TV. If you want to go back and view all of our past episodes, check out ecottv.com. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andrew Rose. We'll see you next week.